In this video, we're going to explore and solve a problem that uses linear systems. Let's imagine that there are two runners. One of them is me, and the other is you. We can represent this by using two different linear equations. This one shows my running graph, and this one shows yours. Now, x represents the amount of time that passes by in seconds, and y represents how much distance has been covered in meters. And as you can see, you run a lot faster than I do. And we know this since you have a higher slope. So when we start our race, you give me a head start by exactly four meters. And how do I know this? Well, you can see that the y-intercept is four. So when x is zero, which in this case is the same thing as saying that the race has not yet started, I am ahead of you by four meters. The problem for me, however, is that no matter how much of a head start I have, since your slope is higher than mine, I can expect for you to get ahead of me in this race at one point or another. The point in which you catch up to me is called the point of intersection. So if the question asked us to find the point in which you catch up to me, then all you would have to do is solve the linear systems. Remember that you can use either the substitution method or the elimination method. In this scenario, I feel like using the substitution method. So I decided to substitute this 4x for y, and we get 4x equals 2x plus 4. If we subtract 2x from both sides, we get 2x equals 4, and if we divide by 2 on both sides, we get x equals 2. Is that a correct solution? Well, let's plug in this x value into the original two equations to verify if we have the same y values for both. What we get for the first equation is simply y equals 4 times 2, which simplifies down to y equals 8. For the second equation, it would be y equals 2 times 2 plus 4, which also simplifies to y equals 8. Great, so we found our solution since both of the y's were equal to 8 when we plugged in our x value into them. Therefore, the point of intersection between these two equations is 2 and 8. So it seems to be the case that you would catch up to me and start to surpass me after 2 seconds of running as determined by the x value that we have found through the substitution method. So that's it for this video. And of course, try some questions so that you get better and better over time. And we will see you in the next video.